Welcome guys, as you can see, yeah, it's cloudy, it's windy, but it's not going to stop me flying my E-Chine E58 battery hack to do a battery test to see how long this 800 milliamp is going to last for. Um, check out my last video, how I completed this hack, it's pretty basic, just took out the old battery and put in a new one, a standard 500 milliamp, this is an 800. I want to see if it's going to give me any more flight time. Let's go. So there's the battery mount underneath. Let's get him in the air. Okay, all set, let's go. Start the clock. Now I'm not going to do anything silly here. I'm literally just going to fly it. Without crashing it, without doing any tricks, without doing anything silly. I just want to see how long this battery's going to last for. Conditions today aren't perfect. I will beep around with a little bit of trimming. You can see it's doing some wacky things already. Not too sure how this is going to go in the wind. I might just bring it down here. Oh, speed things up a bit. Got a bit more control of the drone. Okay, looking all right now. Oh, yeah, it doesn't like the wind at all. So I am having to fight it. Drop it down here so the wind doesn't take it away. Oh, here comes a gust. This could be trouble. Yeah, this is trouble. Put it back down to speed number one, just to try and sit it still here for a minute. Oh, don't hit the trees. <laughs> okay. It doesn't really want to stay very still at the moment. It's doing its own thing. I did calibrate it before I flew it. This e China I had for a little while, I have knocked it around a fair bit, so I'm not surprised it's having a bit of a revolt at the moment. Oh, another gust of wind's coming. Just doing a screen record. Standard battery time, um, I think we, we often look at around uh, six minute mark, so, oh, big gust of wind, excuse me. Yeah, I think I mentioned this drone really doesn't like the wind. Oh, now it's going all over the place. Not too sure what's going on here. Let's try and keep it steady. I definitely advise uh, flying this in bad weather. <laughs> this is um, actually a lot of hard work. Okay. Let's bring it down here a bit. Here comes a big gust of wind. All right, let's get down low. Big gust of wind. Yeah. Of course, when the light starts flashing on the back, that's when she's starting to run low on power. Rocky, I'm really having to um, play with the sticks here because it's going all over the place. I wish you'd just sit nice and steady, but as we know, it's not a GPS drone, so I'm not going to do that. I've just got to fight it for five minutes or longer <laughs> without it crashing. Okay, it's settled down now. Yeah, as you can see, it really doesn't like the wind. This unit gets very stroppy in the wind. Check out my links guys, um, I've done lots of reviews of this drone, um, it's a pretty, pretty decent unit, I'm really happy with it. I've actually got a larger battery which um, I might put in it later and see if I can increase the flight time even more without destroying the motors. 
Oh, here we go, a big gust of wind, oh dear. Oh, right, okay, so. You saw it right there, guys. She just hit the deck. Completely hit the deck. Not too sure why, but yeah, it's hit the deck. Okay. Yeah, the clock has stopped. It's still got power. Interesting. Might need to do some fault finding with that. Can we kick it off again? Yeah, we're still here in operation. Start the clock again. That's very unusual. Yeah, it just um, hit the ground then. So, <laughs> not too sure what happened. <laughs> However, we are still in the air. Looks like someone just hit the kill switch, didn't it? Very unusual. Okay, so we're back and flying and jiggling around the place like a crazy jiggler. Alright. Okay, playing with the trim isn't doing a great deal with this drone. Hopefully it won't fall out of the sky again. I'm really not too sure why I do that. Obviously had um, a reported issue with the battery. Maybe it told itself you're going flat when in actual fact, um, yeah, you weren't going flat, so who knows. Anyway, we're still here. I think we might be getting low on power now. It's having trouble climbing and there's the flashing light. And I could just feel straight away we're having some problems, so yeah, we can get ready to stop that clock, I think. I reckon she's, uh, she's about to crash. Yeah, she's about to come down. I better lower it down to the ground. Put the camera down here. We are definitely about to hit the deck. Flashing light comes on, you've only got about a minute, guys, before it crashes. I mean, lands. Still going okay. Well, apart from a very small mishap. Um, it's been a fairly decent test. <laughs> Normally uh, these tend to crash every three or four times, but I, I think we're about to go. I think we're about to crash land. Any tick of the clock. <laughs> I'll be interested to see how long this battery lasts for. Hopefully it's a bit longer than the, fa <laughs> the factory standard one. Otherwise I'm going to feel like a bit of a goose. I'll tell you what though. Um, flying it this long with the, the low battery flashing light is quite unusual. So. Keep it going. It's hard to control when the unit's running low on power. And she's down. Oh, there's the finished product, guys. The new train, E58. Crash lands. Battery mod tester number one. Yeah, I'm thinking around six, seven minutes, so let's go inside, do some editing, and find out. Awesome, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I won't see the sky at the moment, it's too windy. Uh, however, yeah, thumbs up, drop us a comment, great to see you. See you next time, bye for now.